Hello and welcome to another episode or issue of Optics Rate Debates. Uh, today, and myself, Theodore, we will explain in short what an exit pupil means. I think today that we are still getting some question, questions uh, on our emails regarding this topic. What is an exit pupil? This is really right. pure optics basics. This is for some, someone who is a really a newcomer in this, uh, in this field. So, should we show uh, in reality what exit pupil is? I think that will be the best. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have a piece of paper and optics. It doesn't matter which optics because always the exit pupil is the same. That means it's the diameter of the light coming out of the eyepiece. Uh, we usually calculate this by uh, <clears throat> dividing the diameter of the objective lens with magnification. So that means if we have 10 by 50 uh, binoculars, that means that the exit pupil will be 5 millimeters. So let's let's show this 5 millimeters exit pupil. We will, as you can see, this is the exit pupil. However, in focus, where we need to have our eye, this is here, it's exactly 5 millimeters. I hope you are able to see this. So exactly in the in the focus in the position where we need to have our eye it's exactly five millimeters and this is exit pupil this is the diameter of the light coming out of the eyepiece in in the focus position where we have to put our eye to see a clear image uh, the exit pupil uh, can be anywhere from one millimeter on really extremely high magnification optics all the way up to I would say 20. However, it's usable only up to 7 because the uh, eye pupil cannot dilate more than 7 millimeters. So actually everything above 7 is useless. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would say the most uh, usable exit pupil diameter is from 1 to 7 millimeters. Yes, well we okay. show this uh, in, uh, in terms of binoculars. Mm -hmm. If we just put a rifle scope on and we can still show how it works. Yeah, with rifle scope. It's going to be easier to see because rifle scopes they have eye relief. This is the distance uh, of the eye uh, to the eyepiece. Mm -hmm. It has a lot longer because of the recoil. You need to have a bigger distance. So I think that the exit pupil will be nicer here. Okay, it's here. Yeah. Where you see that there is no reflection around the exit pupil. This is this. Uh, scope is 8 by 56 that means it has a 7 millimeter uh, exit pupil and that means this is the maximum that the eye can handle mm -hmm. and can use and at the same time uh, it has an eye relief of around 8 centimeters this is still a little bit older scope i would say you would need to measure the exact distance but here you can see nicely a 7 millimeter exit pupil from the 8 by 56 millimeter rifle scope here or here where the exit pupil is bigger it means it's not in focus so only at the distance where it's in focus it's measured and given in specification of the optics at this point we can also see it has no reflections uh, no. so this is very good probably yeah this is optimal mm -hmm. sometimes you can still see reflections even at uh, exactly the eye relief exactly at the distance where the focus is and where the eye needs to be put mm -hmm. but uh, in this case this is a very simple design fixed magnification 8 by 56 uh, we see there is no reflections around the exit pupil it's only seven millimeters of exit pupil and that's it mm -hmm. okay so we hope that we showed the, what an ex exit pupil is uh, good enough if we didn't please use comments below and ask additional questions and remember Anything between one millimeter and seven millimeter is okay. Above seven, it's useless because the eye cannot dial it more than that. That's correct. Thank you very much uh, for this <coughs> short video review. Uh, mm -hmm. If you wish to add something, if you wish to ask something uh, about exit pupil or uh, anything uh, in mm -hmm. concerning this uh, term, feel free to write us an email or leave a comment below. Take care. Until next time. Bye.